Okay, um, implicit differentiation. Um, before we go over it, I just want to uh, kind of apply the same technique of implicit differentiation to, a, to something we, we know pretty well. Okay, we know the derivative to this. Um, but what do we really want to do when we take the derivative of this thing? Okay, when we take the derivative of this, we're really taking the derivative of both sides, aren't we? Okay, so we're taking the derivative of both sides. And if I take the derivative of both sides, okay, and, I, and here's what I want. I want dy dx, don't I? I want that, that, that's what I want, okay? All right, so I take the derivative of both sides of this simple uh, function, okay, and I get there. And what ends up happening is I take the derivative of y, okay, but see, here's, here's the thing. I don't really, ha I'm taking dy with respect to x, okay? That means, you know, my input variable is an x, and that's gonna give me my y. So de depending on that input variable is what I'm basing my derivative on, okay? Well, I don't have an x here. I'm taking basically the derivative of y with respect to y right here. So what I do is I go ahead and take the derivative of y, which is just one, okay? And then I, just assume dy dx, okay? Another way to think about that, you could think about it this way. You could be like, you could be like dx of y, and you could just think about it as, well, d dx multiplied by y is d dx, dy dx. You could think about it like that, but um, this, is, this is what we're doing right now. So just remember, okay, we're, we're taking the, res, the derivative of y, with respect to y, pretty much, okay? So, we, which is one, we went ahead and took the derivative of y, okay? And then we wrote dy dx next to it because we don't know what that's gonna be. Now here, we're, 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 since we're all after dy dx, well, that's fine. I can take the derivative of y with respect to x because I've got x right here. So I just write four x to the third, just use my power rule. Okay, now I want to find out what the derivative, I want to get it by itself, so I divide both sides by one. Well, there I am, okay? So, really, you know, we pretty much do it every time. We just, you know, we don't always write out the process, okay? So, what, what if I have this function? Okay? Uh, one way you could move the y over here and you'd have x being equal to y plus y squared and then you could take dx of dy you, know, you could find it that way but that's not what we're after we want to actually find the derivative of the of y implicitly so we do the same thing we just take the derivative of both sides okay well here we go this is just going to be dy dx. Um, then we have d derivative of x of y squared. Okay, so we got that. And let's simplify this a little bit. So we have dy dx being equal to dx over dx minus, we're going to take the derivative See, here, here we are again. We need the derivative with respect to x, but I don't have an x in here. I just have a y, okay? Looks kind of weird, but that's a y. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the derivative of it, but then I'm also gonna write the derivative of y with respect to x right next to it, okay? Because I don't know what it is, but I think I could probably solve for it later, okay? All right, now, dx over dx, that's just one. Okay, now it looks like I got, I got dy dx on both sides. So if I add 2y dy dx to both sides, I'm gonna notice that these guys will cancel out. Okay, so this will cancel out. And then I'm left with
I'm left with this right here. Okay. Um, you might not recognize it at first. Okay. But if we just treat this dy dx just like a variable, uh, we can actually just factor it out. And what do we get? We get 2y plus 1, don't we? All that being equal to 1. And now what I want to do is I want to just divide out the 2y plus 1. And of course we do that to both sides. Okay. So this cancels out, this cancels out. And at the end of the day, I'm left with dy dx being equal to 1 over 2y plus 1, right? So, uh, not too bad. Not too bad, right? So, there we go. So, That's it in a nutshell. Let me just kind of go over everything again, okay? Um, here, here, we started out with this. We just took the derivative of both sides. And we got really nitpicky and we did it term by term, okay? The problem arose when we went to take, uh, when we ended up with a y. Uh, if we're taking d dx, the derivative with respect to x, and we have a y, um, basically what we can do is we just go ahead and take the derivative of y with respect to y, you know, by itself, but then we also write by the side our, you know, just kind of a, our plain old vanilla example of, you know, the derivative of y with respect to x, which is just, you know, the notation for the derivative. So, um, then we just, uh, once, once we get everything, uh, down to, you know, right here, then we just solve for the derivative. Okay, uh, more examples to come on that, okay, because it's, it's pretty important. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.